Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome to your Wednesday reading. Hope you're staying warm because it's freaking cold. I'm burning some Palo Santo that I guess I lit on fire for just a little bit too long, so it's getting smoky in here, but I'm into it. It smells wonderful. Let's see what's going on today. 26th? 20, January 26th, my goodness. There it is again, New Moon Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. Believe in the impossible, showing up again. Believe in the impossible. Blue Moon, something... You're, you're doing some kind of work to prepare yourself for something, and that something shows up. Third Quarter Moon, adjustments are required. So we had that recently as well. It's like you're so close, you're so close, and, and something is showing up, and it's almost like you just have to like walk around this wall or something. You think that there's a wall with a window in it, and you could see the thing, but what you don't see is that that wall is just like a, like a stage wall. It's not a real wall. It's not this thing that you want isn't out of your reach. You just have to walk around. That's sort of like a metaphor for you this morning. <laughs> of where this thing is. Your hard work is paying off. New Moon Capricorn. The New Moon in Capricorn is a is also sort of the energy of recommittal. As in, be sure that you want what you want because it, it is coming for you. Hmm. There's also a message here that yeah you're you're the one in your own way. Either because you haven't put in we can we can get get in our own ways by not actually putting in the work that is required or simply not believing that it's possible for us to do it. Maybe that's why we don't do the work anyway, because out of fear we can prevent ourselves from doing that. So there is some adjustment here, maybe in like a mindset or in, in some sort of approach. It's interesting. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Ooh la la, we got strength underneath. Lovely. Yeah, strength is fear plus compassion for oneself. So when I said working through some sort of fear here, um, Eight of Wands energy is something coming in very fast. The star healing. Love that. Also hope. The star is, is like is hope after a, a difficult period. Queen of Swords. Discernment. Adjust, un, right under adjustments are required. The power of discernment is required. Some smart business moves. Logic. Order. Ace of Cups. There's that new beginning. The world. Something closing out. Nine of Wands, the Magician, Sasquatch. <laughs> kind of love Sasquatch. And the King of Pentacles. Ooh. Um. This reminds me of an. I. I. I don't know if. I'm pronouncing this correctly. The Enneagram. Is that what a? Is that what it's called when like? in one direction it says one word and in the other direction it says a different word. I saw one this morning on my feed that was like chaos and order. That's what's happening here. A little bit. Interesting. This might be for somebody who I think may thrive in slightly, slightly more chaotic environments and um, that's not a bad thing that's just sort of like um, it's almost like knowing if the pieces are all over the place, then at least you can pick them up. If they're, 
and, and arrange them however you want. Imagine like a Lego set that's just like spilled on the floor versus if you have like, um, you know, some sort of Lego design that's already built, like to build something else with something that's already made would require a lot more effort. So somebody is realizing this. Somebody is um, at least acknowledging the opportunity to build something from nothing. That is the energy of this new start here. And so, and is, and is actually a source of strength. Uh, there might be some, some lingering fear, but uh, really it's, it's only in the context of this thing that once could have been, was once a source of fear is now my strength. And so what's happening is someone is making a very quick decision to either communicate what it is that they want, what they really hope for, um, in order to get closer to that. You know, for some of you, getting around that wall will be a matter of communication. For others, um, uh, for others, it, it will have to come down to simply doing things differently. So if there's an approach that you've had um, that has worked and um, for, for a while and now you're um, you're realizing maybe the world doesn't necessarily work the way that it used to and you can no longer approach things the way that you did that is that is another way to get around that wall and to getting what you want maybe you know seeing something as as completely new here as if as in treat it as like a new situation something you've never done before so without judgment be more um, be more perceptive than judgmental about something that you're dealing with and perception the the idea of perception versus judgment I'm taking that from like the Meyer Briggs sort of like the INTJs or whatever judgmental versus perceptive look at those qualities and you can see maybe how your tendencies or your behaviors are leaning one way or the other if you've not taken it or maybe you already have taken it and you know exactly where you are then you know what I'm talking about And I guess the a final message could be for another and yet another set of people, um, and maybe more than one of these apply to you. But um, somebody who has um, the adjustment that yet may be required is to um, really look at what you have at your disposal and make the most of your resources because the magician is showing up here and that usually is a sign of having everything that you need um, it's also mercury and mercury recently got into capricorn too oh we should we should listen to that weather report mercury and capricorn right I, I feel like that happened yesterday or today i don't know but Mercury is the planet of communication, again, so we're going back to that message of communication. I feel like somebody needs to say, state their intention for a new start, or an intention for um, something that is a, a, a new approach, a new way of doing things. Because it's like you have everything you need, What's what is actually needed then for let's say, action to occur for movement to occur energetically or physically, whatever, like there's um, there's maybe some, communi some, some sort of communication for, for a fresh start. Which means you're in uncharted territory now. If this, if that's something that's already happened for you, maybe you've already, maybe something in your life has changed so much that you're like, yeah, I've never done this before then what you might be experiencing now is uncharted territory. It's, 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 it's a very positive thing, it's very hopeful, maybe it's something that you would have never thought would, would or could have happened to you, but has, and now you're like, well, this feels a little bit wild, right? The Sasquatch is about this wild energy. So go wild, right? <laughs> but adjustments are required. I really do believe that the message of the adjustments are required card here is 
don't do things the way you've always done them. Be more perceptive uh, than judgmental. And that's going to bring in the kind of stability and prosperity that you've probably only ever dreamed of. So I like this reading. It's showing a lot of like honest, open communication. I see two lemniscates here, so I'm going to grab the, or my little lemniscate dude. Let's put him over the magician. In any case, this feels very positive. There's there's communication. There's a fresh start. It feels like things are moving along. There's hope. There's also the closing of a chapter. So pretty soon here, we might all experience what feels like a you know like new age, new new age, new era. This year is going to be so radically different than what we've still yet have experienced. And I know we're all pretty much done, but like, remember to, you know, the strength card is underneath. And I love the equation of strength. It's fear plus compassion for oneself. That is what gives you fortitude. Just have, having kindness for yourself in, in whatever you're dealing with. That, that means giving yourself a break, cutting yourself some slack, and, and realizing that we need time to process things like fear and grief. And that's not, those things aren't really a part of who we are, but simply um, we must learn to coexist with all of those shadowy aspects of self. Okay. And yeah, so that's what I have for you. But if you want some homework, go ahead and look up Mercury and Capricorn, uh, the planet aspects, um, and just see what you dig up and, and what, what that means for you. Okay, that's it. So enjoy your Wednesday and have a good week.